Hello everyone and welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Randomizer. We had a pretty productive episode last time, so... I don't know what's gonna happen in this episode. I kind of have forgotten where to go. I'm pretty sure I need to go through the cave, the, the Diglett cave. Uh, but let's explore here. Let's see, who do we want? I want to try to level up. Uh, we'll try to level up Alistair, I think. Win, lose, or draw. Uh, I think we'll take this path as far as we can go. Swimmer Jimmy sends out Eevee. Oh, these are all kind of low level. This might not be worth doing. Well, we could probably use the money. What's going to get hard is doing all the backtracking. Oh shoot, I don't think I ever went and got my bike. Can I get that yet? I feel like I should be able to. I'm like trying to keep track of which routes. Oh, Dratini. I think it's technically... No, I don't think it has the Thunder Weakness. That's alright. Ren, you got this. Oh, not very effective, huh? Man, I thought that usually didn't work. So yeah, I'm going to have to do a good job of uh, trying to keep track of which routes have already been down. Man, I started reading about all the different rule variations, like only being able to use Pokestop so many times between gyms. Man, that's brutal. I, I kind of get, get it a little bit. But the status elements in this game, I think, make that, make that a little much. Because, like, going back and making sure you have full health after every fight is, is probably a little excessive. But, like, if you have something paralyzed or poisoned, like, it definitely poison. You can't just leave that. Let's go, but don't cheat. You're just going to accuse me of cheating anyway. Nurse Crystal sent out a Meowth. Oh, there we go. Go, Alistair. Get us some experience. Oh, and Intimidate, cut down its attack. It shouldn't be able to do a ton to us. Payday. Points scattered everywhere. Ah, oh, nice crit, Alistair. Beat Nurse Crystal. Show her what's what. It's also probably worth looking around for Pokeballs. Or like, just treasures. Oh, no. Watch out for live wires. Oh, so he's normally like the uh, maintenance electrician looking guy. Yeah. Chief Jimmy. Send out a Machop. Uh, is Alistair a good type for Machop? I think that might be a mismatch in Machop's favor. I think Bite might do decent damage though. No, Bite is bad. Um... I think I want to go with something tankier like Lorenzo. Oh, it's super effective. What is Lorenzo that that's super effective? Is it ice? Thankfully, we, I mean, we just had such a big strength advantage. Uh, Pikachu. All right, lightning, not our strong suit. That could be handled by... Alistair. Man, what I wouldn't give for to have a counter to electric. No, Alistair's paralyzed again.
Uh, Venomoth. What do we have? What about Ren? Right, because that should technically be flying. Venomoth identified Ren. Alright, so it's not super effective. Interesting. Wait, is Bug and Lightning a mismatch? You can tell how much Pokemon I play. Uh, especially certain types. Like, there are some that are, are pretty obvious. That I'll probably never forget. Oh, really? This kid doesn't... Oh, no. Oh, it's a Snorlax. Oh, the paralyzed Alistair. Alright, that's bad. Oh, you know what? Dorbin and Dragon Rage would probably be good here. Yeah, I can defense crawl at once. I don't know what Belly Drum does, and I have a feeling I'm probably very glad I don't know what Belly Drum does. Let's see, do I have a paralyzed heal? I don't think I bought any new. No, I. It's weird. I swear between one of the episodes, I thought I bought a bunch of status ailment healing things. But I guess I didn't. So we'll heal up. I think I'll, I'll buy a couple. That way we don't have to keep going back to the, the Poke Center for nothing. Because, like, health wise, we were fine. So let's go grab, grab like five of each. Uh, antidote. Grab like eight of those because that one comes up a lot. Um, paralyzed heal. Yeah, let's grab like ten of those. Awakening. I'm not going to grab very many of those. Most of the time, I'll, I'll just like wait out. Um... I haven't been frozen yet, so I think I'm gonna hold on to that money. How are we on Pokeballs? Uh, 10, that's that's fine. I don't wanna... Uh, don't wanna buy too many of those, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Great Balls pretty soon. Oh. That's gotta be... I raise my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. Oh, this is normally like one of the bug guys. Nurse Scott would uh, like to battle. Go, Alistair. Man, I love that uh, Intimidate. Oh, it's not very effective. For some reason, I thought fighting was... Oh, no. I should just use cut. For some reason, I thought fighting was super effective against normal. Oh, fighting might not be good against poison. That might be what was saving me there. Oh, Growlithe. Uh, hello, Pallid. We've been intimidated. Pallet, it's okay, buddy. Use your water gun. Ooh. Oh, I took a chunk out of Pallet. We leveled up. Bye bye. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, there we go. Treasure. Uh, fresh water. Not super helpful. Ah. Careful, I'm laying down some cables. Oh no, more of these guys. I want to deal with electric. Squirtle. Okay. Uh, that seems like a job for Ren. 
Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's worth it to like switch out. Like is the number of turns and the amount of damage I'm going to take switching out worth the amount of damage I would take uh, defense rose. If I were to just like fight that out with Alistair. Uh, in this case it worked out in my favor. But I've always tended to err on the side of leaving my current Pokemon in as opposed to switching one out. Uh, the Spectre of Permadeath, though, kind of upsets that equation. So I do, I do kind of enjoy that about the this game mode. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Snorlax blocks my way here. Isn't there a assistant? Yeah, there we go. I probably don't have enough Pokemon. Caught only 10. Okay, so it's, uh, all right. I need 30 for the item finder, which isn't going to happen. Yep. Yeah, okay. So I don't, I don't have the flute yet. Uh, I do see that, that Pokeball there. Uh, Barry. Maybe let's heal up, then we'll go through the cave. We'll go through the Diglett cave. Uh, I might go back and fight the trainers on my own, just for the extra money. Uh, one thing that would be helpful is let me know what parts you guys would like to see. Would you like to see the fighting in the grass to see all the different Pokemon that show up? Uh, you know, focus on trainer battles. Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty open to suggestion on this because I'm I'm gonna be doing it all so uh, whatever is gonna be most entertaining it might it might very well just end up being a mix oh, it's a Raichu this is where we got Ren all those episodes ago I've been so bad about the uh, the recording schedule lately. No, Alistair's poisoned, or not paralyzed. I could have guessed poisoned and, and been right most of the time. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I haven't been able to to get ahead. It's been it's been a little bit since uh, since we got Ren. Wait, did I not? I thought I'd used a pair. Did I use it on the wrong one? Did it default to Dorbin and I just wasn't paying attention? I think it even said that. I got I got so distracted by my own story. It wasn't even a good one. <laughs> then I completely ignored that I healed the wrong Pokemon and it even told me. Yeah, it defaulted to Dorbin. There we go. You tell we're coming. We're coming off a uh, six six and a half hour stream. Yeah, I've I've learned as far as streaming goes. After after about six hours, I'm pretty pretty toast. No, Alistair's paralyzed. Uh, that's evasiveness, Rose. I was like, man, we're gonna be at this even longer. I don't want to. I here, so here's the thing. I don't want to switch it out. There we go. Because I don't want another Pokemon getting paralyzed, and I have to use another paralyzed heal. know what to put in. Alice Alistair's it. 
Vivi might be okay. I I don't know if there's a thunder and bug thing. Oh no, Ammonite. Uh, let's see, so that's water and rock, I believe. So I, I think Pallid would still be super effective. Why not? No, well, not super effective, but still good. Still did some decent damage. Oh no, more than uh, more than Alistair would have. Man, like this cave is a straight shot. It just feels so long because all the random battles. But we we need them to level up. I'll take it. Uh, like every every time I go up, I'm like, oh, this is I think this is it. This is the part where you cut up and to the left and you reach the end. And it never is. Can Alistair handle a weeping bell? I just felt like cut should have been super effective against plants. I don't know how they could have worked that in. That just seemed like, you know, cut. It should cut plants. I went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up. Alright, can still use moves like Cut outside of battle. That's fine. I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Want to trade one for my Dragonair? I would love to if I had an Abra. Oh, this is Route 2. I think this, yeah, that takes me back. Wait. Oh, no. Why did I think that was where I needed to go? Or is it? Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through the Rock Tunnel. Okay, no, no, it is. Oh, I have 10. Give me a reward. I caught 10 Pokemon. Which is almost like doing work. What? Contains a hidden move. Fla oh, Flash. Oh, no wonder they made it so low. Uh, found the blue flute. EP up. Not bad. Not bad. Does that do... Does the flute do what I think it does? Uh, blue glass flute that awakens a sleeping Pokemon. That doesn't, yeah, but that doesn't work the way I think it does. You know. I was like, oh, I'll do, uh, oh, I'd have to go through Mount Moon. Shoot. I was like, you know, I'll do fire red because it's pretty linear. You don't really get lost. And uh, I found a way. Yeah, that just leads you back to town. That's not, that's not anything important. Well, let me, I should probably heal up. Okay, so here's what, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to end this episode here since we're, we're just about out of time anyway. So we'll end the episode and... Next, I'll get back through uh, the Diglett Cave. And then I'll try to remember where it is I'm supposed to go. I think there's a, a couple of places to cut. 
Yeah, in fact, I think it's back in, uh, is it Cerulean City? Yeah, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it. So in the next episode, I'll, I'll be back in Cerulean City and we can go uh, finish exploring. So uh, hopefully you guys are still enjoying this. I'm having a good time even though I'm getting myself lost. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.